Good morning, Cowan Heights. Gloomy old day out there. It's a blistering five degrees out there today. So, I'm debating on a motorcycle ride. Yesterday I went, it was between two and four. So that's a 25% increase in temperature, I think. <laughs> so we'll see. See if I can get in the mood. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood to go yet or not. We'll see what happens. It's only 10 in the morning, so I'm going to plant myself here. Since I got a couple hours to kill, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And I'm going to start reading my third book in the Witcher series. I'm doing pretty good. This is my ninth book so far this year. Anyway, back to motorcycle riding. I'll be on the bikes very soon. Hey everybody, guess what? <laughs> I'm riding again. My uh, weather app lied to me. It said at home it was five degrees, but uh, according to my motorcycle, it was two degrees. So I'm glad I dressed warm. I don't think this is spinning. Well, my other camera, the battery's dead, so you won't see my face on my rides. Sorry. <laughs> kind of takes away from some of it. But anyway, today I'm going to head to Avondale. My app said it was plus five, but my motorcycle says it's plus two, so someone's lying to me. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this ride. As you can see, I got to fuel up because I uh, am down to a quarter of a tank. I'm a regular type of guy. Nice to see another motorcycle on the go. Almost the price of filling up a car. <laughs> this is the camera here that's uh, not charged. And I just remembered I have a charging cord in here that I can connect it to. And it should charge while I'm riding. So that way, by the time I get to my destination, I might have a charge. All right. Let's get out of here. Get going. There, I should be good for another 436 kilometers. I don't think I get that. Depending on how I ride. If I go on the highway and set the cruise at about 100, 110, then yeah. But uh, riding on these roads, I don't think I'll get anywhere near that. And this right here to my right is Holyrood Beach. Great spot to come and hang out with the family, sit back. Nice little walkway there. I actually rode out there on a motorcycle one day and set up a coffee. I apologize for the crosswinds. I know it's noise. This area right here is uh, should be populated with whales soon. North side road, I think is what it's called, you gotta take. Anyway, it's near Holyrood. But every year when the uh, herring come in, they uh, tend to come in and chase them. And this area is Lakeview. Not too far from where my initial plan was. I was going to come to Harbor Mean instead of Avondale, but changed my mind. I'm also curious to see what this uh, video is going to look like when I get back because I changed the angle at which it's uh, it's viewed, and that's the exit there for Chapel's Cove. That's where I was going to go, but. 
I was there not too long ago, so uh, I wanted to go somewhere where I haven't been in a while, which is Avondale. Although I was there a few months ago in the fall on my quad. I left Seal Cove and went to the uh, Railroad Museum for a little ride. It was nice. Maybe if I have time, I'll show you the Railway Museum today. This area here is uh, Harbor, Maine. In case you haven't been here before. I'm sure you drove through it probably a few times. <laughs> but yeah, this was going to be my initial stop. So I was going to go down on this wharf or this uh, area right here and hang out. But changed my mind. Actually, it would have been a nice spot because they got that nice little area down there. And that would be perfect for coffee. Next time I'll go down here and have a look around. Next stop, Avondale. There's a sign. Welcome to the town of Avondale. Very historic town, especially with the railway coming through here. And as usual, I'm going to give you a tour of the town. And then figure out where I'm going to stop for coffee. Definitely be back here afterwards. Fire department. Post office. that looks to be about it. So I'm going to turn around up here and head back to the town. Now, where's that spot? Up for there. how much trouble I can get in going down this way. None. This is pretty soft. <laughs> well, I must get out and stretch my legs. Well, once again, it's uh, toque weather. 
because it's uh, according to my uh, <laughs> temperature gauge is plus two down here. Warm the melon up. Well, since I'm here, I might as well do a walk around. Cool and breezy here. I bet you it's warmer up by that uh, railway museum. At least it's a place to stretch the feet after that ride. <laughs> the whole 45 minutes. Again, I'm debating on the drone thing. It's windier here today than it was out in Pooch Cove if that makes any difference. But the wind is blowing in from the ocean so that way when my drone goes out it'll come back a lot quicker. <laughs> Maybe I could put it in some kind of uh, glider mode that way uh, if she dies she just uh, floats back to me. I think it's too windy. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes before I get ready and go back up to that railway museum. So this is all part of Avondale, eh? In all honesty, there's not really much here to uh, use the drone on. <laughs> I mean, this is not your typical scenic wharf full of boats and uh, all that nice stuff that uh, people love to see on camera. So maybe I'll save it for the railway. Can't leave without walking along the beach. Walking on beaches is always a pleasant experience. There's always uh, something relaxing about it. That's probably why you see so many people out getting those, uh, getting sea glass. It's just a chance to hang out on a beach, listen to the ocean, the seagulls, Sorry, I gotta watch where I'm stepping because there's all kinds of uh, little pats of water everywhere. Anyway, this clears my head. Yeah, I gotta explore. More rickety fences. <laughs> well, not a rickety fence, but not much left to this guy. Time to get ready and go see the little engine that could. It's a Sunday, so hopefully there's nobody up there. Hate when there's people around. I know, I'm, uh, I'm bad for that. Well, if you look close enough, you can see it warmed up to four degrees. It doubled in temperature sitting here in that sun. <laughs> and I'm only three minutes away from the railway. So it shouldn't be too bad of a ride, I don't think. I hate this turn. Usually traffic comes down a little quicker there.
Maybe I should grab a snack to go with my coffee. Five hundred meters to go. Ah, there it is. That orange building, I think, is the color. Doesn't look to be open. <laughs> Canadian National. All right, we got to turn around now. says it's open. <laughs> Someone's probably looking at me with this and thinking I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just want to get a picture next to this. There we go. Harmless. Now I gotta get a selfie. All right, I think I will go over on that dirt road and park. It's like every road is just nothing but dirt.
Figure if I can do it on quad, I can do it on motorcycle, right? Maybe not. <laughs> All right, coffee gear. And I got my drone, we'll see. Guess what? The weather's warm enough here, I can put a hat on instead of my toque. Good old Foo Fighters. A few people out enjoying their quads. A couple tourists around. All right, time to unpack, get my coffee on the go. And do you know what? I forgot to change the propane. It was on my list of things to do. And of course, getting ready. The dog was around my feet and stuff like that. I know, excuses. And I forgot my propane. So we'll see. Hopefully, three times. I'm lucky, because uh, this could be my strikeout right now. So today, I'm uh, going the easy route. I didn't bring my coffee press. I'm just going to go with some Tim Hortons instant coffee, dark roast. I like my dark roast. Time to get my pot going. Definitely cutting her close. I think there's enough in there. Had a really nice chat with a lady that time. She came over and chatted with me for about 10 minutes. She's 86 and she's fascinated with, uh, with railways, talking about all her trips and stuff that she used to have. It was nice, she's very nostalgic today and uh, she's, this springs out the child in her, she said. It's like something just memorable and nostalgic about the whole thing. Oh, we have clean. That's good. Oh, forgot I brought my cream. Bonus. Oh, look, an ant. Oh, making a mess. I think she's ready. Put this back on before I spill it everywhere. You can see, I don't know if you can, my cream leaked. <laughs> I think it's still gonna work though. Just pour it out of the bag. There we go. No harm, no foul. I'll put that back in there to keep it uh, from getting over my stuff. Coffee. Now to taste test, see how it goes. The uh, coffee press is definitely better. No doubt about it. But this is definitely doable, especially with the cream. Takes away some of that bitterness. There's something about having a coffee outdoors with all your friends. I'm surrounded by my buddies, I know. No, it's nice to do solo rides. I love doing rides with groups. Not too large of groups, but uh, I enjoy going with a few people every now and then. But uh, a lot of times I just need to get out myself on my own, just 
just to clear my head because uh, it's hard to do that sometimes when you're uh, surrounded by others. Well, while I'm in the area, I might as well have a look around, right? Let's come over and have a look at this thing. Newfoundland Railway. Wonder does it still work? I must jump up and see. Mother. Oh man, look at that mess. I spilled coffee all over myself. Look at this thing. I bet you that'd be fun. I'm sure the kids have a blast in there in the summer when tourist season starts. I would. Uh, all right. For this next part of the video, I am going to stop talking. And I'm just going to play some background music. So sit back and enjoy and relax and uh, enjoy the scenery of this museum. scenic 
I'm not in the mood for Trans Canada right now. So anyway, thank you very much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Take care.